What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video from my Madden 25 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head season series and today we are in game 8. We were able to secure a playoff berth in our last game but today we're trying to get that first round by just like we did in season 1. And if you're unaware, this is actually the rookie first string division. So I did make it through the rookie second string division in my first season. Lost the Super Bowl, unfortunately. But uh, let's take a look at my opponent today. We're going up against Mr. Interminable. And uh, he's got Alex Smith at quarterback here. Maurice Jones drew at running back. Not too... Not too scary. Golden Tate at wide receiver with Randall Cobb. I mean, overall, not a very good team, to be honest with you. Pretty low overall. He does have Jason Peters at left tackle and Mike Webster at center. So apparently he's been watching the budget series. Uh, so that's good. But at the same time, though, overall, his team's not very good. He does have Indomitong Sue at D tackle, though. 97 overall. Um, I was going to show you the cornerbacks, but unfortunately, my opponent... Uh, press pause and uh, made me get out of that screen so I apologize guys but you know his secondary wasn't really anything different nothing spectacular so let's get into the gameplay footage here it is first and 10 Walter Payton takes the ball on a read option for a seven yard gain next play we hand the ball off to Chris Johnson he nearly gets swallowed up in the backfield but he makes it down the field a back juke for a big gain and we get another first down here down to about the 32 yard line QB Walter now scrambles to the right side, bombs it down the field to Trinidad Holiday. He makes a spin move, but he gets wrapped up there at about the 10-yard line. And from there, he was in big trouble because he could not stop that outside zone run. Chris Johnson walks into the end zone, puts us up 7-0 on the first drive. We've been doing such a great job with that so far this season. Scoring first in Madden just creates such a momentum swing, and it gets in your opponent's head like it did here when he tried to test Deion Sanders, who gets the interception, and we are back on offense. Let's try the read option again. He puts his D-end in a contain, and Chris Johnson takes it up the middle for a nice gain. He really couldn't do anything to stop it. Couple plays later, we go play action, and QB Walter with a big completion down the field. Trinan Holiday breaks the tackle and gets us down to the two-yard line. And from there, again, Chris Johnson into the end zone, completely untouched. Back on defense now, and it's a big hit by Marcel Darius up the middle. Could have been a fumble force there. I wouldn't have been surprised if it was. He tries to test Dion again. Gotcha, bitch, though. Dion Sanders, his second pick in as many drives. Back on offense now. It's third and 11, but he gets incredible pass rush there from his defensive line. We're forced to take a field goal, which I have no problem doing with a 14-point lead. We're now up 17, and we're back on defense, looking to force another turnover if we can. But Smith, this time being a lot safer with the football, he definitely does not want to throw another pick here because if he does, he's going to be down probably four scores. But on third and 14, I know he's got to throw it down the field. I play the pass commit, and we get an interception with Antrell Roll. Three interceptions on three drives now, guys, if you're keeping track. But again, second and nine here. I try the read option. He plays it perfectly, which sets me up here on third and 18. We throw a completion, but Vernon Davis drops it. Apparently, he attended the popcorn party at the Dream Kareem's house, and we're forced to settle for three once again. Not a problem, though. 20-point lead. I'm very happy about it. And I know that if I just keep playing smart defense, if I play that man-to-man, -man, my guys are going to be able to stay on top of his receivers, and eventually he's going to throw more picks. Here he is throwing it into triple coverage. Pat Pete nearly comes up with that interception. Yeah, guys, thank Ryan for that, by the way. I really appreciate dropped interceptions. Not... Anyways, Deion Sanders, though, makes up for it. He gets an interception on the very next play, and we're going to go with the screen pass here. That was not a good decision. That was a really stupid decision, but thankfully it didn't matter. The end of the half was on its way, and I kicked another field goal to be up 23 to nothing at the end of the first half. My opponent got the ball first on offense in the second half. He goes with the pitch, but Devin McCourty lays the lumber, and it is a fumble recovered for a touchdown by Patrick Peterson. Shoots him the Heisman, and now we can all thank Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Anyway, back on defense now, and to be honest with you, at this point, I was kind of surprised. I am so used to everybody rage quitting, but my opponent, to his credit, stuck in this one. He was absolutely not willing to give up in this one, and even though it's not going to end up in his favor, I really appreciated that he was willing to stick through it and continue to play. I wasn't trying to run up the score by any means. I just want to go up by a safe amount, and it's about to become safer as he throws an interception, this time to Derek Johnson, who catches it in stride, and he is going to run all the way for a touchdown. 
that made it 37 to nothing as he spikes the football in celebration and this game at this point was pretty much completely over so rather than continue to commentate over this uh you guys can watch the highlights in the background but uh, thank you guys to everybody who has subscribed. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm now at over 1,500 subscribers, which is a pretty good amount considering I've only been doing this for about three months. And uh, that's a real credit to those of you who have gone out, watched my videos, shared my videos. Thank you so much for all of that. And don't worry, we're going to be continuing to give you guys plenty of Madden Ultimate Team content. But as Madden slows down, I am going to be continuing to upload different types of videos. You've seen a few UFC videos. And I am planning on getting the new MLB The Show game. Sorry that I wasn't able to really continue with the career mode with my previous one. But that's honestly because it's such a pain in the butt to go from PS4 to PS3 with the Elgato. It's just annoying as all hell and I couldn't stand it anymore. But I am planning on getting the PS4 version. I am going to be doing some MLB The Show content. So be on the lookout for that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it. This is a 44-0 victory. Not every game is this easy, but it's nice to get one every once in a while. We're now 8-0. We're headed to the playoffs. We got a first-round bye, and I am going to do my best to win the Super Bowl this year. I am not going to choke it away this time, damn it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.